This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28. Catches it, and that's all. Burton gains about five yards on the play. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Really a nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41. Gets out to around the 48. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. He passes it. It's complete. The 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. Carries the ball for a nice game. White gets about four yards on the play. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. He converts the extra point. A seven-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 7-0. And they can forget about returning this one. Michigan's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two. And they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them. And sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 31. Quick strike, and he drops it. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. Jackson fields it at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 38. Go, 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 
Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. This offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Georgia is up seven. White picks up five with the carry. Up the middle for a nice game. A nice first down run there. Yeah, first down, and I'll tell you what, the defense was sold on the pass there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. That'll bring up second and three. This is going to be a first down. He's taken down at the 22. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22. Here we go. Room around the corner. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. They come out on an empty backfield. He's under pressure. Lost the ball. Fumble. Scoops it up. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From the 46-yard line, second down. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Zips it to the back. And he's taken down at the 31. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. He's at the 20, and they make the stop at the 14-yard line. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 17-yard line. Tackle.
tackle after a decent run up the gut. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. We played one. We get a tie game at 7-7. Michigan lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He wants it all going long. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Tackle at the 34. That'll make it second and seven. Down at the 24 yard line. From the 24 yard line. First down. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled at about the 13. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wideout, hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. They'll bring him down at about the 11. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's taken down around the 18-yard line. Steps out at the 21 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on their own 21. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. And he's tackled around the 36 yard line.
from their own 36 yard line. First down. He's got all day. He heaves it deep, and he's hit immediately. Well, the defense was completely out of position. I think the play action really opened things up that time. They completely bit up, thought the running back had the football, and the quarterback had a wide open receiver to make that throw downfield. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And they hit him in the backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. Taken down at the 23. About a 10-yard gain that time on the completion on the slant. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Michigan is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he's got it. Moody gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. The offense comes out of the field, and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. On the run. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime. They counter that five wide receiver set. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it first and ten. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. the stop at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. He throws it, and it's incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Slings it. And he's level at the 33-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Tackle made at the 24. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. 
even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. He's tackled in the open field. So they'll pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. He guns it to the right. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. The wideout here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 30. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. And he's immediately tackled. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. That was a six-yard completion, and we'll have first and ten coming up. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Caught with room to work. Steps out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Looks for his running back incomplete. Robbins awaits the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He fields the punt at the 13. Whoa, he just took a licking. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Gets out to around the 35. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at the 45. Personal foul, face mask, defense. They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He airs it out. Incomplete. It's halftime, and we've got a close one. 14-10, Bulldogs.
We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting. And you gotta find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody, bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's got an opening. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. From their own 46-yard line, first down. And he tackles him hard at the 40. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. There's a strike complete. Tackle around the 26 yard line. From the 26 yard line. First down. Haskin gets it on the inside. And he makes it out to about the 24 yard line. That makes it second and eight. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Fires out to his receiver. Big play, and it's first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They'll bring him down behind the line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Can 
was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Michigan gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He fights forward to about the 23. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Pitches out and the ball is up for grabs. It's picked up by the defense. Touchdown, Wolverines. That always makes you nervous anytime a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. But man, did it work out for him here for a big time play in the score. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. A junior makes the catch, and he's tackled around the 47-yard line. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big-time game. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Nice tackle there from the freshman coming down from his position at safety and making a solid tackle on the ball carrier. Caught, and he's hit immediately. From the 43-yard line, it's third down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And a quick throw. He's taken down right around the 34. Six yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From the 36 yard line, second down. They come out in a five wide set. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring, That'll bring up, up third, third and six. Check the outs, check the outs, check the outs. 25 to the mic. We've got 25 to the mic. Here we go, check. Hammerhead. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down right around the 26 yard line. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 24-17, Michigan. Looks like they're ready for the kick. 
He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. They go to the ground game, and they make the stop around the 22-yard line. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 22. Michigan is up by a touchdown. He's hit and taken down. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First and 10, ball on their own 42. Down at the 45 yard line. Tackle made right around the 46 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Light 17, light 17. I got one, I got one. And it looks like this one's going to come down to the final quarter. 24-17, Wolverine. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. From the 50, second down. Mike 17. Ready. And they get nice yardage on that run. Michigan is up seven. As a man, he'll lose big yards. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Jackson will be the return man. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Level at the 26 yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They come out on an empty backfield. Very good tackle in space. And for Burton, he's up to 100 yards and catches. I think the quarterback and this receiver right now are clearly in the zone. The defense needs to do a better job of adjusting their defense to be able to slow him down. He now has over 100 yards receiving in this game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 48. Kick 
catches it, and that's all. A five-yard gain. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. Gets to about the 44-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Here we go. And down he goes around the 41-yard line. usually a good idea of putting the ball in the hands of your halfback, but only when it stays there. That's true, Brad. That was a tough play for this young man to make. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. White picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up third and four. This is the ninth play of this drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. And that completion gives him over 300 yards through the air. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. From the 27-yard line, first down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And this is the 12th play of the drive. They'll get him for a loss. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Switch, switch, switch. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Just under two to go in the game. They hand it off. He's out to the 30. Tackle at about the 35. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll drop in for a loss. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. Did somebody miss an assignment there? I mean, this kid came in untouched. I don't know if it's the wide receiver or maybe the tight end. Somebody's got to be able to block that corner. He's going to make plays all day. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Robbins is the putter. <laughs> and 
And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The Bulldogs have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. They've played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters is trying to get that W. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's immediately tackled. The spike will stop the clock. From their own 33-yard line, it's third down. Here comes the pressure. Brought down in the open field. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Pass interference. Offense. It'll be third down again third after third that down. penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third and even longer now after the penalty. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. Mike seven, Mike seven. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. A great game here today in a tight one. 24-17, Michigan. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.